Hi, my name is Salvador Castañeda, and this is my capstone project. For my capstone project, I wanted to do a classification analysis, so I decided to use the Kegel letters dataset, which is a dataset that contains some features about four different letters. Then, well, it contains 17 different features for each letter, and there are 300 and 116 observations. Each letter will be considered as a different class. Doing a very brief exploration, we can see that all the classes are balanced in the sense that we have almost the same number of observations for each class, which is great. Another exploration I did is that um, I want to know I wanted to know an overview of the distribution of each column. So this is an example of the first ten columns. It is important to note that the letters column is the target, and all the other columns are features like width, height, um, different measures about the letters. Something I didn't mention is that. Each observation, well, each each observation is a different font type of of that letter, so that that's what make makes it in, interesting. So for the procedure, we we're going to do two models. First, we're going to use a logistic regression, and then we're going to use a neural network, and see how it works. So the general procedure is that I will manually load the data set into a Jupyter notebook using the IBM Cloud. Then I will nor normalize each feature, perform one hot encoding on the target column. I will, well, I try to use PCA to reduce the dimensionality of the data set, but this didn't help me improve the, mo the model metrics. So at the end, I didn't use it. Um, well, finally, a train test split so we can have a validation and a, and a training set. So first we're going to use the logistic regression. This mo I decided to use this model as a baseline to because this is a very simple model and easy to implement and well using the logistic regression well I, I use science Kittler and achieved a 94% of accuracy. And here you can see the a table with the precision and recall and the one score. And we can see that the words, the letters that are more difficult to classify are the P and the R. So we're going to, we're going to try to beat these metrics using a neural network. Okay. So for the neural network, I decided to use Keras and a sequential model. I used one input layer, one hidden layer, and one output layer. And the, the, the input layer and the hidden layer have both 520 neurons. The output layer has four neurons. And well, the result of this is that I achieved a 97% of accuracy, almost 98. And we can see that the last two letters, the B and the R, are also the most difficult to predict. But using this model, we clearly could improve these metrics. The conclusion is that, well, even though the logistic regression achieved a good performance, using neural networks was very important to improve these metrics. Another important thing I want to point out is that using the IBM Watson Studio was critical to manage all the resources to load all the, all the libraries, and it really made it easy to focus on the important thing, which is the model 
and don't not to, and not and not to put so much efforts on the installation of the libraries and things like that. So, well, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much.